This is the video for lesson 28 on my website, Introduction to Rotation. This is a very quick and easy lesson, but it's an important introduction to a topic that will come up again in later math. To begin with, we define a circle as having 360 degrees. That's just something that you have to remember. Now with that said, if we take an object and we rotate it, which means twist it or turn it, if we do that a quarter of a circle, one quarter of 360 is 90. We basically do 360 divided by 4 and we get 90. So what that means is that if we take an object and rotate it a quarter of the way around a circle, we say that that's a 90 degree rotation. Let's take a look. Here I have a drawing of a turtle and you can see on the right here I've rotated the drawing 90 degrees. Make sure, take a look at that and make sure that you see that I've rotated it one-fourth of a full circle. In particular, I rotated it in a clockwise direction, just the way the hands of a clock move. So we can say that this is a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Let's take a look at the second drawing here. So the drawing starts out in the same way, but here what we did was we rotated it 90 degrees counterclockwise. It's one quarter of a circle, but it was rotated opposite the way the hands of a clock move. Take a look at that and make sure that you see how that works. Now in the last example, I started out with the drawing in the same position as the other two, but here what I did was I rotated it half a circle. Make sure that you see how that works. Half a circle, half of 360 is 180, so we can say that this is a 180 degree rotation. Now there's a few things that are important to notice. Make sure you notice that it doesn't matter whether I rotated this object clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way, I would have ended up with the object in the same position. Keep looking at it until you see that when you rotate 180 degrees, a half circle, count clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. It ends up in the same place. Also, make sure you see that we didn't just flip the object upside down. What well, we didn't flip, what I mean to say is we didn't flip it such that the result is a mirror image. If we did, that would be called a reflection. We didn't do that. Make sure that you see make sure that you see that what we actually did was a twisting or a rotating or a turning of the object so that it ended up in this position. It wasn't a flipping over or a reflection. Make sure that you see that. This is just a very basic introduction. Make sure that you remember that a circle is defined as having 360 degrees. Make sure that you feel fully comfortable with the concept of clockwise and counterclockwise. And make sure that you see how quarter rotations are 90 degrees and half circle rotations are 180 degrees. We'll come back to this more in later lessons.